Hello everyone, I'm Typhoon and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will do port scanning. Now you can ask that, what is this weird thing here? This is a uh, Metasploit actually. Uh, this is vulnerable uh, machine. Uh, so you can easily install it for uh, VirtualBox, VMware, so it doesn't matter. It's either easy to install uh, if you want to do penetration testing uh, things. So uh, we will use, we will do our pen test on this machine uh, for today here. Uh, yep, uh, just remember it is there uh, online. Uh, if we ping this, uh, this is the IP address of our vulnerable metasploitable machine. Um, yeah. So, uh, as uh, you uh, saw in previous lectures, uh, Metasploit isn't just for exploiting vulnerabilities. It also includes uh, powerful scanning tools uh, to help you identify potential targets. Now, these uh, port scanning tools are built into Metasploit's auxiliary modules and are seamlessly integrated um, to, into the framework. Uh, they can be especially useful for tasks like pivoting, uh, where a compromised system is used to traffic to uh, otherwise inaccessible parts of a network. Now you may ask here, what is pivoting? Uh, so imagine you have a gained control uh, of a system located behind um, a firewall using network address translation NAT. So systems behind network address translation firewalls typically use private IP addresses, making them unreachable from the internet. By compromising such a system with uh, Metasploit tools like that, uh, you can use it as a bridge to pass traffic, which is pivot, pivoting into, into the internal network and target other hidden uh, other systems hidden behind the firewall. This approach uh, opens up additional opportunities for exploitation now, to get started with port scanning in Metasploit, you can search for the available port scanning modules using search port scan. Now, you can see uh, uh, almost eight, eight port scanning uh, tools in Metasploit, uh, which is actually these are the modules, auxiliary modules. Uh, now, we will use the uh, auxiliary uh, scanner port scan uh, syn synchronization uh, now here uh, we have selected it now what we will do is set hosts our host this is this is, our hosts mean actually remote hosts uh, to uh, what was our previous IP address that uh, of this here uh, we will find it we will find it We don't need autopsy right now. It has nothing to do with our lecture. Yeah. Uh, 168.152.139. This is the uh, IP address of our uh, metasploitable uh, machine. This is actually operating system. Just boop, it has some vulnerabilities. And it not some. <laughs> so you don't want to install this um, metasploitable on your uh, open network, so I don't recommend that. Uh, now, yeah, set our hosts to the target IP address and uh, set threads 50 uh, and run. Now you can see runtime, you don't have permission to perform this capture on that device. That is because we need to run this, as always, run the Metasploit framework with sudo command, right? sudo msf console, enter password. And yep, uh, now we will use the auxiliary module, scanner, port scan, and syn, set our host 192.168.152. Oops, again. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, I think, vertical enough, but not so much. Yeah, but we will fix that. 
and yeah, uh, set oh no, point uh, one three nine, and set threads to fifty run. It might take some time. Now you can see here it uh, lists the open ports. And here, the, there's so many open ports here in Metasploitable, uh, so it will take some time. Uh, but you can see that this this scan reveals that 21, 22, 23, 80, 111, uh, and so the next ports will be uh, written here. Uh, they These are the open ports on the target systems. Now, uh, these results can now be stored in a Metasploit database uh, for uh, future use. Um, yeah, as I said, uh, documenting the findings in um, information gathering phase is very essential in uh, penetration testing. So take these ports, write it somewhere, and store it. Now uh, we also have uh, the targeted scanning. Uh, now when conducting penetration tests, it is perfectly fine to go for easy wins here. Uh, a targeted scan focuses on identifying ser specific services uh, configurations or software versions known uh, to be exploitable. Now, for instance, Rapid7 uh, uh, provides a comprehensive repository of a verified scanner and uh, exploit modules that can help uh, identify vulnerabilities quickly. Now, always start with the latest uh, modules to ensure you are gathering uh, current weaknesses. Now, let's say uh, we can scan uh, for the assembly services as well, uh, which is service message blocks is a protocol often used for file sharing and network communication. Now, uh, Metasploit's uh, SMB version uh, module can detect details about SMB services running on a target. Now let's clear it um, and we will use auxiliary scanner SMB 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 version uh, set our hosts 168, 152, 139, and run. Uh, now you can see host could not be identified the Unix because uh, SMB is mainly used in uh, Windows machines. So there's also a method exploitable like uh, vulnerable Windows machines uh, for like uh, method exploitable. Metasploit is based on the Linux, so you can also download um, a vulnerable Windows 7 machines from Torrent, uh, and you can practice on that uh, without uh, being in the problem with the LAL. So uh, I always recommend you to build your own penetration testing systems and do the practical examples on those and not the real persons or um, systems, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, and yeah, this uh, scan identifies the SMB version and other service details such as uh, supported encryption. Now these results can later be accessed with this hosts uh, command. And uh, yeah, uh, now we can also scan uh, poorly configured uh, Microsoft SQL servers. Uh, there's also that. Uh, now we can use the use, use auxiliary scanner mssql mssql ping mssql mssql sql ping uh, set our host run and yeah, uh, no results as well, but you will need to keep trying and trying until you find some something that you can go with uh, and proceed your um, information gathering phase. Uh, now, while SSH, SSH is uh, generally secure, uh, but vulnerabilities exist on older version. Uh, now, uh, especially in Metasploitable uh, that we used here, Metasploitable, 
um, there's an SSH that has a vulnerability as I know uh, so we will use auxiliary use auxiliary uh, scanner SSH now you can see now we have uh, pretty much uh, good SSH varieties of wide variety of SSH auxiliary modules scanner modules so we will need this SSH login uh, set our hosts to our vulnerable metasploitable Linux machine and run now you can see uh, credit details show options set our host our port you can see username stop on success blank passwords yep Yeah, you can see the auxiliary uh, mode executing completed and you can see this cred blanks we have some some problem with uh, cred blanks passwords are ports threats username Let's use the tag people set our host uh, and yeah actually we're executing completed and there's nothing we found here uh, and yeah uh, let's do another test with ftp services uh, because ftp services are often uh, have weak points in uh, networks security now uh, metasploit if, if uh, ftp version module can identify ftp services and determine whether anonymous logins are allowed or not now you can use auxiliary uh, scanner ftp you can see we have ftp uh, scanners as well so what we will do here is ftp uh, version show options now f50 our host so we will set target host set our hosts to 192.168.152.193 and run now you can see f50 banner uh, it is vsftpd 3.2.3.4 uh, so if you search that version on internet I am like 99% sure that we will find something now you can see here it has uh, several vulnerability observation uh, footprint no yeah backdoor command execution so we now gather the information about this FTP so we can go with that way and attack from the FTP to gain authorization on the system and there's explanation how you can hack this vulnerability yeah that's uh, very good uh, findings uh, so the, the as you dive deeper you will find more information and more vulnerability uh, because the most important thing in penetration testing is information gathering uh, yeah uh, the results here uh, show that server also allows yeah uh, we yeah yeah uh, we can also uh, see that use auxiliary scanner FTP. Now we have some FTP login. Login set our hosts 192.168.152.193. Uh, one, five, two, one, nine, one, three, nine, and run. And yeah, invalid creditors can't be blank. Uh, yeah, and scanned one or one of one host. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, so Metasploit scanning uh, capabilities makes it an essential tool for penetration testing. Now, from uh, since scans to several specific modules, Metasploit simplifies the process of identifying 
vulnerabilities and laying the groundwork for exploitation. Now, by combining these uh, tools with other techniques, you will be well prepared to uncover and exploit the weaknesses in any target environment. I'm Typhoon and I'm meeting you in the next lecture.